thank you for the opportunity. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, Danny with Danny's Luxury Cruise Vacations, an independent affiliate of the Avoya Travel Network. And I truly have the honor today to have Carmen from Princess. She's a wonderful executive new at Princess, and she's a true veteran of the cruise industry. And she's going to share some time with us uh, today just to discuss a little bit about the wonderful product that she represents princess cruises good afternoon carmen and thank you for being here well are you kidding thank you the pleasure and the honor is mine danny i'm so happy to be here to be able to have this dialogue i love that you said new to princess but i am a veteran almost 42 years in this what i call the happiness business selling these cruises so i'm thrilled to be with you and looking forward to our dialogue and of course my huge thanks to you because of your incredible subject matter expertise your clients are in very good hands, sir. You are. Thank you. They, they are blessed and lucky. So thank you for letting me be on the hot seat. Kind of there thing. you go. There you <laughs> go. Well, we're going to get started, uh, Carmen. If uh, my, I may ask, uh, what may, you and I know what makes Princess so special, but maybe the consumer doesn't. So if you could just share a little bit insight on what is so wonderful about your product. Thank you. And let me tell you, what a great opportunity. I got into this business, I kid you not, because of, do you remember the old love boat? Oh, yeah. the love of Captain Steubing, Vicky, Isaac. So back that TV spot or that incredible series is what pretty much put cruising on the map. Princess was lucky enough that we were the brand they chose to, to put this Hollywood, you know, every Saturday night I would watch it, right, on the Pacific Princess. So we were the original love boat. What makes Princess so special, as a matter of fact, we are just expanding on that DNA of love. It is the fact that we own love. We're synonymous with love. And I want to make sure I define what that means. Because some folks think, well, love in a romantic sense. Not at all. Love, as you can imagine, goes through all extremes. You could love, and this is the campaign, I love this boat. Come feel the love. You might be a lover of wine, a lover of cuisine, a lover of just sun worshiping. You might love gambling. The Princess brand is unique, number one, because it pulls at the heartstrings. Because of this amazing relationship, uh, brand essence that we had with the Love Boat, it is a recognizable brand. It's America's love brand, right? Who doesn't love love? Who doesn't want to be loved? Uh, the best thing about this brand, and being new to the company, I got to tell you, I had never cruised the Princess brand till I got here. Previous to that, I pretty much cruised everybody out there everybody. And, you know, when I stepped aboard, I, I think I was just wowed, wowed because the experience on board wasn't what I thought it was. I don't know what my preconceived notion was, but we have this medallion class technology that's exclusive to us. It's a differentiator. It really makes our guests feel special. And by the way, it, it doesn't matter if you're two or 102. The way the technology, it's not about the technology, it's about what the technology allows our, we call them teammates, right? Our onboard crew, family, what they do, it allows them to get to know our guests on a personal level, like a one size fits one. And that's just one part of it. But the other thing is just, it's this princess essence. You can't, rep, it's, it's, listen, if I could bottle it, it's the, it's the secret sauce that when you get on with our Italian heritage, which I never knew that wasn't, you know, we're, we're a brand who had it by the Italian government. We're the only, only company outside of Italy that's allowed to do real authentic. I mean, it's got the Italian blessing from the government that we can truly have authentic gelato on board. So this Italian heritage, you know, the center of the vessel, Danny, it's a piazza, right? Mm -hmm. And to see, this incredible area come to life. It's just like you are in the embrace of this incredible brand. And that's what makes it really, really special. And then people always think about the Love Boat. So if you watched it, and, and by the way, we started the new Love Boat series. And the funny thing is everybody says to me, why is it, why was it on Paramount Plus, right? Because it's not like, like me growing up, if they told me I was gonna watch CBS at eight o'clock every Saturday night, I'd be in front of the TV. You can't get, this new generation to do that, right? They have everything on handhelds. So you really have to be there when they need you. But the new the new Love Boat, right? Or the real Love Boat, the new Love Boat that, that came out, which is kind of reality TV, opened up a whole new world and market 
to our incredible brand and showed, uh, I, I tell all my good friendly competitors, it really did for us now what the Love Boat did originally and open a whole new world to cruising. So it lifted all of us up, Beautiful. truly did. Beautiful, Beautiful, uh, amazing. So having said that, and you know, the love, and like you said, love is either the destination, the food, a great bottle of wine, sitting on your balcony with the sunset and having a martini or something. Where does Princess go? I mean, is there, a, are you a worldwide destination? Do you, are you specialized? You know, wh wh where do you guys go? It's an excellent question because most people, again, from that show, you would think Pacific Princess, Mexican Riviera, Round Trip LA. That's what's synonymous because that's what the show featured. The new love boat featured the Mediterranean. So I got to tell you, most people don't realize we consider ourselves, what is it that our cruise delivers? Every single princess cruise delivers what we call a classic cruise experience, right? Absolutely fantastic. This is not like a, you know, just it's now. No, it is continuous standards in this classic cruise experience, which again, I mentioned again and again, made popular by the love boat, mm -hmm. right? We visit 330 dis destinations. So we are a global brand. We even have world cruises. So when I look at North America that I'm responsible for, uh, Canada, New England, when you do coastal Californias, by the way, we're the number one award-winning cruise line in Alaska. Princess is Alaska. Anybody wanting to go Alaska because everything in Alaska is ours. Like if you're doing the, the, the rails, they're owned by us. Those lodges, they're right? princess lodges. Um, those employees are our employees. We know that incredible land like nobody else does, and we delivered it and execute Alaska. And, and that's why we've been award winning. So Alaska is really our number one destination that we source to. People love it. But we're back in Japan. We do the world cruises. We do Hawaii. I just did a 10-day Panama Canal cruise. I call that the little, because it wasn't the complete 15-day through all the locks, right? It was the get too mm -hmm. late experience but that i did i did it with my family and friends there was 14 of us uh for a, a new year's sailing there you go. and it was amazing you know we did colombia we Cartagena, we did costa rica you know uh Pura Vida. I mean, it was just amazing and that panama canal experience was so exciting because it was a taste 10 days round trip fort lauderdale then you got canada new england oh my god it's picturesque also, we do Caribbean voyages. People don't realize seven days, 10 days, 11, 14, 21. By the way, lots of home port strategies that folks don't realize. Out of Galveston, we have a ship going out of Gal Galveston doing seven-day cruises, eastern, western. We're out of Fort Lauderdale. Caribbean voyages, Canada, New England, San Francisco, Seattle, you name it, LA, San Diego. So we've got you covered if, especially because folks like to drive to home ports or they want to go ahead and fly, uh, but but really stay close to home. That we deliver Alaska, we deliver Canada, New England, the Caribbean, Panama Canals, Hawaii cruises, world cruises, Japan, and let's not forget the Med, our European voyages, spectacular. From what I call iconic ports like Rome, which is Civita Vecchia, Barcelona. I mean, you name it. Those European adventures. What a better way to see Europe, okay, than on a cruise where you have multi-ports and you're really getting cultural immersion uh, on board and ashore. So 330 destinations delivered to you, you, Danny, for your clients on 15 gorgeous ships. So we truly uh, deliver that globe. Tell me where you want to go. And there's a princess ship there. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, you mentioned something a minute ago, Carmen, you know, you went with your family over the holidays demographics obviously if it's a world cruise it's going to be a little older demographic just because the length of the cruise the time frame and all of that but if a uh, over let's say the summer uh or over christmas break uh kids programs families with kids traveling how do they fit in a, is it a uh uh the, the demographics listen that your timing on this couldn't be better because we just had a huge study done by bcg boston consulting group really surveying our clients. What is the future? What do we have now? And let me tell you, the work that they did, you know, focused on everybody. So I, I never want to, we love new to brand and new to cruise. And I never want to get away from our loyalists because boy, our elite guests, I mean, these, you know, Captain Circle members, they are completely loyal to our brand. Oh, yeah. We love them and we never 
want to disenfranchise them. That's critical. But this research showed us that, that there's more than what we, like we own love and love transcends, like I said, from two to 102. We've got programming on board, multi-generational. In my case, I went with, you know, my kids, 26, actually my son turned 26 on board and we had a specialty uh, dinner reservation for him at Sabatini's, Italian's his favorite. And there were so many families on board. We don't want to own just one thing. We're not the company just for kids. We're not the company just for culinary. We're not the luxury company. We're a premium brand. Uh, it's sophisticated, but not stuffy, right? So right. Gen Xers, which is, I consider that forgotten generation. What is that? 42 to 57. That is the growing one. But when you look at baby movers, because that's really a lot of our sourcing, we kind of look at like silver adventures because we really are an adventurous brand. When we look at adult families, myself, my kids are older, but I saw folks on board, you know, multi-jet grandparents and the smaller kids. Because most people don't know we have the most state-of-the-art technology with this medallion and these incredible programs for kids, whether they're teenagers or they're younger adults, they separate them based on age group. Now, when my kids were growing up, Danny, I'm aging myself, but we had those walkie-talkies that I would rent from Radio Shack and the kids had one and we had one. Every time I took them to the kids club or the teens club, I'd be like, are you there? They never answered. With the medallion, oh, by the way, this is the medallion from my cruise. My son's was personalized for his birthday, so it's a happy birthday. Each of these medallions when you cruise are personalized with your name and the name of the ship you sailed on. So this happened to be the Caribbean Princess, and it was a holiday voyage, and it says the love boat, which is the authentic you know, experience for us. The medallion allows you to know, you know, connect yourselves with your families, know where they are. I no longer have to have a walkie-talkie. It's the good old days. I just look at my app and I know where my kids were at all times. That kind of, and by the way, I could be poolside and order a drink and then decide to go to my room, they'll find me. That kind of technology, it's not about the technology, it's about the experience, but adult families, we're looking at exploring couples. And again, when I look at adventure, so what does that mean? How do we deliver the brand, which is really important, right? What we know, and most importantly, what we need to lean into is what has made this brand really universal, right? We want to break through a sea of sameness, Danny, and it's really interesting. We're active, not passive, energizing, not overwhelming, relaxed, not sleepy, romantic, and by the way, not cliche. It's not about just, you know, honeymooners. Uh, we're personalized, but not standardized. And we're classy, right? It's not, you know, that sophisticated snobbish appeal. And I think this goes across a lot of different, you know, demographics, right? And, and that's important, important to the growth of our brand, right? Because we have a brand new ship coming in in 24, the, the next iteration of, you know, princess class ships, which is the Sun Princess. It's a spear class, which will be really unique and different. So that kind of gives you an idea, yep. a yep. little bit of everything. Now, having said that and having showed us a little bit about how wonderful ships you have and the technology and everything that goes with it, entertainment, that's a big part of a cruise, as you and I well know. Entertainment for the adults, entertainment for the kids, uh, kids programs. Um, tell us a little Critical. bit about that. Critical. So that's why, you know, there are brands out there and listen, everybody has their niche, right? So you might be a, a brand that says, I'm only for kids and you've got kids pro. The beauty of our brand is we're for everybody, but it's important because you've got to entertain those kids, those young adults, activities for them with those, you know, cruise counselors on board that they have to be there. It's no doubt. Entertainment wowed me. It wowed me because it's not what I expected. So they actually flew in some really interesting entertainers, um, a ventriloquist. He was spectacular. So that was one night. Then we had an incredible, you know, stand up comic. Then we had these Broadway review shows that they, the, the costumes alone, and then they continue to develop all. Of, and then don't forget movies under the stars. To me, that was super cool because it's, it's, you can just imagine this panoramic movie screen, right? With this hot buttered popcorn and our family just laying on, not just deck chairs, that the, the team on board, they make it really comfortable lounges and you're sitting there and the world surrounds you. Now, wine connoisseurs, I happen to a lot of time in the vines uh, bar on board, which is really kind of like the wine bar. But like, I love the International Cafe because I like breakfast there. I'm not one of those uh, breakfast eaters that have to go into the restaurant. 
into our dining rooms and have a formalized three hour breakfast to our, I enjoy going to the cafe and knowing there's always something there for breakfast. Amazing. The salmon quiche, which is what I, I, I practically had every day. They change it around. I would have the incredible, you know, uh, it was like a goat cheese with artichoke. It was so delicious. And then my lattes. And we have this thing called um, Princess Plus. And I got to say, it pays the plus. This is a package that you buy. And we have two different packages, but I'm just talking about the initial package. Uh, and I got to tell you, Danny, this is the best value. Our entire group got it. It was really critical to have because that way it's seamless. I don't have to worry about gratuities. It's included when you play pay to plus, when you buy this Princess Plus package. Um, Alcohol, Wi-Fi. People says, oh, I don't drink. It's not just alcohol. You might have coffee, lattes, smoothies. It encompasses all of it. Nice. And then the Wi-Fi, it, it's critical. Nice. You know, when you start adding up, let's say you, you're you not a, a big drinker. Let's say you're just having coffee or a latte. Let's say it's $6. You have one in the morning. Maybe you have a coffee at night. Maybe you have five drinks during the day. All of this adds up when it's individual. When you do the math, it is a value. It really makes the, com the, the the actual brand experience that much better. Additional, you know, costs are like specialty uh, restaurants, right? We do have a package that includes specialty restaurants if you choose. Uh, we did did the Malacarte, which was fantastic. The Crown yeah. Grill and Sabatini's, and there's so many. I could go on and on. Can you tell I love food? I, Carmen. I'm up there with you. I'm probably dating myself. I start, I took my first cruise in 1962. Oh, wow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And Got it. see the transition. It was wonderful what I saw then, but cruising today is more for everybody. And Absolutely. it's just a beautiful thing. And to see the transition with your wonderful brand. Uh, Carmen, this was amazing. I can't thank you enough for sharing some insights with us today. Uh, absolutely a gem. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Thank you for being just the utmost professional and your amazing support of the Princess brand and all the cruise industry, right? You are unique and we thank you. Thank you for that.